everyone welcome back to my channel today's video will be about oscar de la renta espirit de oscar so if you would like to know my thoughts and opinions about this fragrance stay tuned the meta cards to this fragrance are powdery citrus white floral vanilla violet iris floral aromatic amber and musky the top notes are almalfi lemon citron and bergamot the middle notes are iris violet african orange flower tuberose and jasmine and the base notes are heliotrope tonka bean musk ambergris and vetiver this is listed as an amber floral fragrance and it was launched in 2011. so this is what the bottle looks like it is a 3.4 fluid ounce. This is what the flower looks like. And the little bands around the top has the Asca de la Renta and the name of the fragrance. So I'm holding it because unfortunately the top, as you can see, is like janky. It is broken, unfortunately but that is what the bottle looks like. So I'm going to remove the top because it's just gonna bother me with all the clankety clank, 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 clank. So to me, this fragrance is a beautiful, pretty floral fragrance. It is, I would say like somewhat powdery, but it's, it's not given Johnson & Johnson but it does have a powdery scent to it but i feel like it's mainly heavy on the tuberose so if you are a fan of tuberose you will definitely like this um you should actually uh try purchasing this if you come across it because i purchased this in burlington maybe i think last year maybe two years ago it could have been last year um, it was a decent price, a very affordable. Um, I forgot also what the line to this fragrance is because there are different ones that have different scents, but they're just different colors. So um, the only one I have come across was the purple one and I think the green one and maybe the red one in Burlington. I should have picked it up when I seen them, but uh, I didn't pick it up. I am very glad that I did come across this because I am uh, personally a fan of tuberose. This is given like, I feel like grown woman in my opinion. It is more like on the clean, floral, fresh type of scent. And I know definitely you can possibly wear this to bed, but... It might be a little bit heavy for bed. I mean, if you like it, you, you can try it and see if you like it. Honestly, not that I spray it because I haven't honestly used this in like a while. It is kind of more heavier on the powdery side now that I am spraying it because from the bottle, it really doesn't give that much. If you like it, get it. But if you don't, don't. <laughs> to me it's giving classy it's giving feminine also to like i said earlier it is giving grown woman but i just feel like the vibes that it gives me is definitely during the daytime springtime maybe even a summertime but definitely spring like early morning like that pretty breeze and then you just spray this it's just like uh like i don't want to say chef's kiss but it's just like fl like a floral kiss if that's even a thing this is a beautiful beautiful scent i think you should definitely uh try to get it if you see it in burlington like i said you could possibly buy it also from the the other like perfume websites like fragrance x fragrance net so on and so forth this is a gorgeous comforting scent now because it is on the powdery and the floral side some people may 
think it is like the mature scent and you know what i'm talking about when i say mature scent but to me i like it i love powdery uh tuberose scents i love it love it love it so this is definitely up my alley honestly if i come across another one i am going to get it back up because <laughs> i know right now i haven't like really used it that much um as you can see i mean there's a small dent and that's probably barely even noticeable but i really do like the scent to me i really do not get like heavy citrus honestly i don't even get that much citrus at all and for it to be like the top notes it's like very heavy in the top notes so the opening should give you like a blast of citrus but honestly i do not get that at all and i don't know how i can forget because also i need to include the musk scent that is in this fragrance is a like it complements the tuberose and the powdery scent in this fragrance so yeah mainly to be honest it's giving musk powdery and tuberose really heavy in this fragrance this fragrance does have a long lasting power i feel like on the skin and definitely on the clothing so if you're into fragrances like that um that lasts a long time you would definitely like this so as i have stated before like the clean fresh scent it can also put you in the mind of like a soapy scent so if you're into like soapy scents you may like this or like i said earlier um if you don't like powdery fragrances as much you can probably use it for a bedtime maybe the fragrance can get away with being worn at uh bedtime versus you know going out during the day and wearing it then so you can try it either or so uh, some people in the comment section for fragrantica for this fragrance they said that like they're comparing it to the chanel number no. five i think i have smelled the chanel number no. five at sephora before that fragrance is kind of strong so i don't think to me it uh mimics that um someone said that it could be the chanel number no. five little sister I don't think so in my opinion or maybe because i don't have the chanel number no. five in front of me to compare um that's just basically what i'm going off of i don't think so but mm, maybe if i go back and smell it i may have a change of heart a change of thought but yeah this is oscar de la renta espirit de oscar and like i said to me it's a beautiful fragrance it's giving soft clean fresh grown woman vibe so yeah give this fragrance a chance and i'm gonna put the top back on it because i don't want to close it out without showing you the entire bottle it is a pretty bottle the packaging with the floral top very cute and like i said i forgot what line this was called they do have other scents and it's in other colors please like comment share and subscribe for today's video and as always i will see you in the next one bye